in the digital era <coughs> most of our lives depends upon technology but the fact is most of us don't know about the technology and don't want to learn about it i'm here today to advocate how essential is learning the technology in today's state that's why the topic the digital disconnections technology is getting normalized and if we are not learning about it we will feel handicapped why so my grandfather used to depend on my father for money or health related issues my father who is now retired and uh, we were thinking his favorite time pass will be to go to a bank update his passbooks and watch some random tv, uh, TV show is now learning about the technology he is spending all his time on learning that what the banking app is all about and we give with a big responsibility that is to manage an one one time password with all the frauds are calling him right so he was about to watch a random show now his brain is tickling all about what is next on prime and netflix he is learning about the next app he used to book the cab which is from uber or ola he is learning or depended upon me to book a irctc ticket or flight he was very much much aware that he will he will get a boarding pass go to the airport board a flight now he is struggling to be on boarded with dj yatra so that's his his story and he is dependent upon me but what about us and that is where we call the new age technologies artificial intelligence is all over so this is uh, even this ppt is getting got created by artificial intelligence this is me a uh, more slimmer version flying in a car in 2050 uh, we are seeing uh, artificial intelligence or the more of the emerging technologies has uh, surrounded us augmented reality internet of the things 3d printing all those has been came together and changing our world the recent proof of concept which we have seen is about a ai enabled fridge which has of course the iot to connect to the customer care but in artificial intelligence what it is doing is it's learning about my behavior what i consume it has a tie up with the big tech companies and also possess the knowledge that if i am consuming a four x per day and if the fridge is not having the enum one he the fridge will order it on behalf of me right so a big tech will receive that order send a drone at my place and there will be a robot who will take it and cook uh, the eggs or you know omelet for you the only thing you need to eat or maybe you know do some jogging as well else you will look like me right so the technology is evolving the business is changing autonomous vehicles are all around manufacturing companies are using it from the long time and if you see the belt today the from the product uh, production of a product to the warehouse everything is automated so that is how the technologies are coming in but that's not it which is which i am talking about now is the proof of concept but if you look the futuristic technologies where i am talking about the flying cars we are going to have chips installed in the brain where your brain will be sharper your body movements will be triggered and also your memories will be preserved born babies will be tagged with the wifi so you don't need anything else so you will have the inbuilt uh, wifi virtual avatars the people will be working the serving the social media everything will be happening on the metaverse so that is how the it's getting triggered so everything the decision making will happen with blink of an eye augmented reality is going to take around the world so if i will not get indulged into the technology i will need to depend upon my kids my daughter already using snapchat already on metaverse already using Rob roblox or uh, minecraft and to tell my parents who are from the telegraph era to what is gif or a snapchat augmented reality it's very difficult and that is something which you need to drive to that is my where i said the technology is normalized and if you are not indulging into it you will feel handicapped why fomo will take it over fear of missing out i like to narrate a story of my friend uh, 
who is very much enthusiastic to go on the bike rides. The only thing is he don't know how to ride a bike. Always he insists, I want to be a pillion and I will be with you. With the new norms of the bike riders which is coming in, the pillions are not allowed. And even the new bikes where the pillion seats are not there, he is going to be left out. Either he need to learn the, how to ride a bike or he can't go on the ride, right? He can't join the troop. So that is where the technologies are coming in play. We call today the technology is no more a support function. It is business enabler. So like, I don't know when you all have been to the bank last time. So even the KYC, even the transaction, UPI, everything is happening from your mobile phone, right? Manufacturing, as I said, everything is from the technology. And today the jobs are getting changed. You are no more need to do a core business which can happen without technology. So if you don't know technology, you don't have a job today. Mostly, like, you know, if I name the organization like Uber, Ola, Airbnb, Netflix, Apple, right? So if you want to work on those companies and if you want to use those products, you need to be technology enabled. And most of this, the technology which is coming next, the people sitting in India may work for someone in uh, out of country and earning in dollar through the metaverse. And if you don't know the technology, you will not be having the job. That is where the impact of FOMO versus uh, FOLO comes in, where you will be left out from so many uh, options, right, from the virtual world. The gathering in future, the social media meets, the society meetings, the college campus, even with that HD hologram, the look and feel which you are going to get in the technology. And if you are not indulged, you are going to be left out and you will not be getting the things or the experience which other will have who are into the technology. So technology learning and getting into technology is very much important today, but either they are going to control us or we need to. I have my own personal story when you know my daughter turned out six. Uh, six. I wanted to give some uh, gift to her to experience something uh, special. So I, what I did is I put an Alexa with an IoT device which is a smart bulb at home and I connected it and told her that okay, uh, you know now you can go home in your room and say hey Alexa change my room color to pink or Alexa change my room color to uh, purple or blue and she was so excited, she was loving it all way around. But uh, in a month's time, I observed, I just been to home and uh, I just over listened that she was asking, hey Alexa, what is nine plus seven? She started doing her math works to asking uh, Alexa and that is where it triggered me that if she's dependent upon Alexa in that fashion, how her brain will, you know, grow. And that is where my studies uh, started in this subject and when I found that all these big social giants have or tracking us at 5,000 data points each. So that means even if you, you know, go and go home and ask your spouse or parents that how much they know, maybe you know 20, 30 or 50 points, but 5,000 data points are too much, right? So based on that, they put or give you the information. Earlier, if I look, the media houses, right, when the news was getting published, it is one news for everyone on the same TV. But today, it is different. Every mobile has different feed. If you even check to the next one, they will have the different feed, you will have the different feed. And those feeds helps or manipulate or influence your decisions. In future, what you are going to buy, you don't know if you were influenced or that is something you actually want. That is where uh, this technology is taking us. Artificial intelligence is playing a big role in this. We are seeing deep fakes in a way that earlier, right now, if you are getting a uh, phishing or smishing call, you are seeing that someone is calling and asking you the money and there is a human to it. But now with deep fakes, someone can clone your voice, someone can clone your face and do a video call to someone to ask you for the money. The example which I gave for the fridge who is ordering on your behalf, you will see artificial intelligence doing the financial transactions on your behalf. Right, you will see the brain uh, chips which are getting installed. Someone can actually hack and do the mind games with you, right? So you can actually uh, 
maybe get your memories vanished or you will get the new memories or new tasks or body movements that can be done metaverse right now we have heard a story where, uh, or a case where someone's avatar was assaulted online and that girl is in uh, traumatized right so if those things are happening and if my daughter comes and asks me for the help and if i don't know that means i'm dependent upon someone else so those kind of crimes are getting much 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 ahead uh, you are going to buy a robot to do house help for you now think that robot put a knife on your neck and ask you for the ransom so ransom uh, ransomware most of you must have heard what it used to be like there is a data which got encrypted you pay in the form of bitcoins and you will get your data back now hackers have changed it they are not hacking your data they are just taking the replica of the same and creating a new version of it or they are taking access to your system and then giving you let's say you are in a autonomous car and the car has been gone to a cliff and asking you to pay in bitcoins or else i will jump from here so your life is at stake right those kind of crimes are coming in and if we will not learn about it if we will not learn about the technology what's going to happen with us and how we can make sure that we are always up to date with the latest technologies and we are at the verge of it very first thing coding technology explorer that need to be within you you need to be creative always and always ready to explore the new technology that how uh, that is the how the future is going to be and how you can emerge into that join a networking or a community which can actually help or talks about it but even if you are there you know the technology the only thing is what you need to be preserve the technology can be damaging as well the first thing you need to keep your security first now i'll tell you uh, there was a study which was done on the indian consumer behavior okay specifically so that was done by a, a, a smart ac manufacturer they found that okay if i have an core ac with the capability of cooling this room i am selling it at 25000 rupees what if i sell it a 40000 rupees ac with the same functionality but it's smart it's connected on the internet will the consumer buy it and the result came as no so they put the same thing 25000 rupees and another smart ac was put it at 25000 rupees 500 and consumer was willing to buy it and they that give them the competitive edge but what consumer got in those additional 500 rupees was a small breakable chip and with that someone will able to get into their system in the network and monitor and what was happening they were enjoying the remote or smart device at home but their house becomes the big bo big boss house you know big boss chahte hain so the everyone was uh, looking into them remotely either it's your uh, uh, cctv cameras your smart tvs smart bulbs 400 rupees smart bulb how much security you can get out of it right so this is uh, uh, how those uh, consumer behavior were studied and decision making which uh, people are trying to sell they are also doing it on big data and they are trying to sell lot of advertisements to you that okay if not uh if it is not even of your use you can go and show off to your neighbors that aapke ghar se mera ac chalta hai and people started buying it right so that was the thing so whenever you are making a decision to leverage the technology you need to ensure that security comes first and second this same technology can be used to safeguard yourself like password managers like multi factor authentication and artificial intelligence comes in a way where we will call the user behavior analytics so the statement here is like the technology which is used to manipulate or influence your decisions can be leverage to identify the anomalies which are manipulating or influencing your decisions so here my case is if you are not leveraging technologies if you are not adopting the technologies be ready to get vanished thank you